can you show me something? Should we have some fun? <laughs> We're ready to play? Yeah, no. Right. Okay. What, what, can, what can you show me? What do you, do you want to learn an Eagles of Death Metal song? Yeah, why not? Okay, awesome. That would be cool. So in Eagles of Death Metal, I'm running a fuzz pedal all the time. It's a Ren and Cuff um, Pickle Pie B Hella Fuzz pedal, yeah. and that's kind of become my signature tone, and I really recommend that pedal for people looking for a really good fuzz. I've had a lot of people try it, and they love it, so I have to mention Ren and Cuff. Okay, I'll check them out. Yeah. Okay, right, so what song do you reckon? Can you hear that? Yeah. I like Cherry Cola. That's one of my favorite ones to play. Okay, I like that one. Cherry and it goes with your guitar. Oh, is that an SG? Yeah, it's an SG. It is an SG. This is my new, I got this yesterday, actually. Oh, whoa, we both got new guitars yesterday. I know, I got that and a Les Paul, actually. Um, yeah, Gibson kitted me out. Oh, that's amazing. I know. Cool. Yay, what color Les Paul? uh it's like a it's not a gold top but it's kind of, it's i don't know what you call it when it's all it's kind of like a blonde is it a blonde one they call them oh yeah cool like that you can see the natural wood grain in there yeah no. it's not the it's not the 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 cherry burst or the sunburst one i wanted the the, the sunburst but they didn't um it didn't sound that good the one that they had so mm -hmm. i ended up going for one that sounded better rather than the look so <laughs> sometimes you get a lemon and sometimes you get a really amazing like my first base is a mexican key base and 91 yeah. and a lot of people kind of say that the, the mexican bases aren't as good and i beg to differ my my mexican key base is my favorite base it's stood the test of time it sounds amazing and to this day you know we'll see how it goes with my simon gallup base but to this yeah. day well my my favorite so it's a really beautiful base okay so cherry cola is you said the six six fret yeah you got it there yep yeah, you got it girl ready yeah oh, is my mic on yeah so so that's it yep and that i like this one because this main riff is like super driving and super super uh catchy and also it's it's i think it's easy yeah I, i'd say it's easy okay go. that's good to hear right yeah. so then where do we go after that you're gonna go to the third fret you're gonna go to c and then you just go up one yep you got it so, well, and I go back to the beginning, so it's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can <laughs> we do it together? Yes, let's do it. Um, do I need more volume? Okay, so what do we do? How do we do this? I've never played with another musician. <laughs> Stop it. I actually played, well... Yeah, not not at the same time. I haven't. I didn't for like three years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom, the poor little goth girl. Um, I tell you, I had, I lie, I have. I played with Joe Bonamassa, but it was literally. I had no idea. But I had no idea what I was doing. Like it was before I knew what to play, and he literally just told me to go like, you know. Yeah, a bit of spoonful. Amazing. Well, let's just right. do the rip. You know, Cherry Cola goes, ba, ba, na, 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 do you want to Last note, which is also the first note. So 
you go, I'll do, do the riff and I'll show you the next thing that you do. And that leads into the verse. So it's like a little middle part. So just that six, so, so what did you do? One. Yeah. Was that it? It's a bump in there, but it doesn't matter. It's rock and roll. You know okay, I, I like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. When I learned the Eagles of Death Metal songs by ear, Josh Homme played a lot of those bass parts, and a lot of them are very complex. They're very riffy, and a lot of Eagles of Death Metal songs are high on the neck. They're riffy, right? Right. So I started on a Mustang bass, a short scale, which I had never played before because my fingers couldn't handle it. And they did after a few months, they handled it. But still to this day, when I was like listening to the nuances, I'm not playing exactly what he's playing. There's some liberties I've taken with these songs, you know, to give it my own feel. Very true to the material, don't get me wrong. And I'm sure somebody would have said something if it was way off. But what you just did there, like, I'm not a stickler for the perfection of it. If the feel is right and you're locked in with the other players, then yeah. you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. And I like that. I like that approach. And it kind of like, like you say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Really and I guess is. that's that kind of punk rock attitude as well, isn't it? It's like, you know, you don't have to be technically fantastic. Just have fun. Just have fun and just have feel. You have to enjoy yourself because when you're enjoying yourselves, that's when you can bring the joy to the other people. Fantastic. Jenny, thank you so much. I love it. I love oh my God. I want to, I can't wait to see you guys live again. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see you on stage working your magic soon. We all hope so. We're all really, you know, hoping that that day comes sooner rather than later. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And good luck with the new album. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, so if anyone wants to check out my song, it's called Out for Blood. And I like to direct everybody to my Bandcamp page. It's jennyb.bandcamp.com. That's my favorite place for you to get my music. Amazing. Great. Well, Jenny, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for the jam. Oh, <laughs> my so first. Fun. Yay! Yay! <laughs>